I came back home to raise crops and, God willing, a family. So you want me to marry you then? Well, that's a bit sudden, but all right. <laughs> Is that what you call a proposal? I love you. Always have. I want to marry you. In a land of timeless beauty, William Wallace was a man of peace. I want to stay here with you. And I with you. You say you want to stay out of the troubles? If I can live in peace, I will. But when they threatened his world... Edward Longshanks is the most ruthless king ever to sit on the throne of England. Scotland. My land. And the woman he loved. I want a home and children. It's all for nothing if you don't have freedom. He was driven to war. Go back to England and tell them there that Scotland's daughters and her sons are yours no more. The rebellion has begun. And who? William Wallace. He rallies new volunteers in every Scottish town. We've come to fight and to die for you. Stand up, man. I'm not the Pope. Pick a flock of your finest assassins and set a meeting. My lord, Wallace is renowned for his ability to smell an amber. <laughs> You'll dispatch our future queen with the notion that she comes in peace. Longshanks desires peace. He declares it to me, I swear it. You tell your king, William Wallace will not be ruled, nor will any Scot while I live. He waits for you at York. If you are man enough to come and face him. Why do you help me? Because of the way you are looking at me now. Where are you going? I'm going to pick a fight. Well... Didn't get dressed up for nothing. We can't beat an army. We can't. Then we will. Would you be willing for one chance, just one chance, to tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom? If we win, we'll have what none of us have ever had before.